Bam Zango, here is Merc coming at you with another video on the Netmerc channel. And today we are going to be doing a graphics tutorial on how to make crack text in Cinema 4D. Now today I'm using Cinema 4D R15, there's always R16 and a couple other, you know, versions, there's 15 or 16 of them. Uh, so I'm not sure if this works for all of them, but for a few of them I've tried and it does work. So the easiest way to make crack text in Cinema 4D is to go to MoGraph on the top, come down here, click on Mo Text, and done. There you have text. Well, you don't have it cracked. If it would load, that'd be great, but I have 50 million things open on my computer. So, yeah. Um, it's gonna take a while. There you go. Okay. So, this is text. Yeah. It's genius. So, basically, font is here. So, if you want to change the font, just click it. And then, if it would work, everything would be great. <laughs> and you can just choose whatever font you'd like. Tunish. And we're just gonna keep it as text, but you can change whatever it says, like, hi. And then you just gotta click off. Um, yeah. Align it in the middle. I'm just gonna keep it as text. Alright, so, then you're gonna wanna see as right here, the text is kinda small for cracking. So, I'd suggest either 50 or 70, but for this one, I think 70 is in order. Because it depends on how long your word is. So, if it's a bit longer of a word, you might want to make it a bit better depth, a bit bigger. That way it can accommodate for the longness. Alright, so, here is text. You want to add a color, just double click down here, materials, make a new material, double click on here, and just change the color to whatever color you want. Boom. You can mess with all these settings if you want, but I'm just gonna make the color, bam, render. That's what it looks like. All right, so, in order to make it cracked, you're gonna need to download a plugin into Cinema 4D. I'm going to have the link down in the description. Basically, the only, only way you can install a plugin is basically all you have to do is go into your folders, get into the Maxon folder, go in from program files, Maxon folder, Cinema 4D, and then find the plugins folder, and then from there just put it in, restart Cinema 4D, and you'll have it up in the plugin section. Now in the plugin section, the plugin I'm going to have you download is called Throzy. Now Throzy is a very, very amazing, it pretty much just cuts everything for you. I mean, that's exactly what it does. So you're gonna come down, uh, you're gonna make sure this is selected. You're gonna go down to plugins, Throzy, Throzy, don't don't even look at any of this. I mean, you could do that later, but if you want this to crack text, we're gonna go to Throzy, and here we go. So there's, it's gonna cut it into two pieces, and that's not what we want, do we? No. So let's cut it into 70 pieces, and let's do a random seed so that it comes out randomly every time, and break now. Now just watch it. Now this right here is basically, as you can see, each and every cut. Now it's gonna. Get all of it. All right. So basically, each and every letter is going to cut into pieces. And there's going to be a lot of layers over here. So you just wait for that. Cut in the X. And then 58% done. Now 60. It's actually. 6 a.m. woke up at 5 and I was like hey why don't I do another graphics tutorial people were waiting for this one very important thing to know how to crack text for a lot of different things now this is basically just you know the basics I mean you could always add better materials and spend more time on it all right so you see since there's four letters it turned into four layers uh, but inside them are like 50 million pieces <laughs> 70 pieces per of these group. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna click on one and then we're just gonna drag. I mean, you could always just click each and every one of them, but you have to make them all the check marks. So we're gonna select them all. You can just do that. And then we're gonna go to randomize it. So we're gonna go back to MoGraph. We're gonna go to Effector 
and random. And what this is gonna do is that. Yeah. So this random is now controlling all three, all uh, four of these. I'd suggest for strength, take it down to 10 and boom. Got your crack text. Uh, it's quite simple actually. Here, let's add some physical sky. Maybe give it a little lighting. Um, but yeah, so there you got your beautiful text. Now you're wondering, oh, it's white inside. Can I change that? Yes, you can. Just come down here. Yep, that's what Bob the Voter told me. <laughs> All you gotta do is swap the color to whatever you want. Down here in one of these, which is the cut insides. See, that kind of changed some of it. Uh, there's one that primarily changes most of it. Uh, but you just gotta kind of find it each time. It's usually different. Do, 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 do. If it's the first one, I'm gonna be a mad person. Come on, come on. Alright, alright, come on. Okay, yes, it is. It has to be. So, just make them all the color that you want it to be. And boom. Now the color you want it to be is inside, while the rest is the text color from before. So, yeah, it's quite a simple process. Um,. So yeah, if you like this graphics tutorial and you're looking for more, be sure to leave a like, comment some, you know, other things I should do, other things I could teach you, whatever you need, just comment it down below and I'll be sure to do it. And subscribe to the network channel if you haven't already, because then you can see more graphics tutorials and learn more about network as we progress in our way of life. <laughs> I will see you all in the next video. Merk out!